Next year marks a little-known anniversary in southern Alberta. It'll be the 200 years since the arrival of white explorers to the area. Tonight, Paul Bozzetta takes us on a journey retracing the footsteps of a legend. Much of southern Alberta history lies in the Porcupine Hills. It was here where legendary explorers David Thompson and Thomas Blackiston first charted the area with nothing more than a pair of moccasins and a sextant. Historians are now trying to add another name to the list of legendary explorers, a man who walked through this region two centuries ago. In the shadow of the Rocky Mountains today, historians Bruce Haig and Dr. James Cousins have retraced the steps of a forgotten explorer. His name is Peter Fiddler, a man credited as being the first white explorer to visit and write about southern Alberta. I'd like to see Peter Fiddler recognized as the prime explorer of this part of the world, which includes Lethbridge and McLeod and the Crow's Nest Pass and, and everything in southwestern Alberta. Fiddler, like Thompson, worked for the Hudson's Bay Company in the late 1700s. He was deeply interested in Indian culture, which led him south from what is now Vagraville, Alberta, to the Porcupine Hills. Along the way, he recorded the existence of Chinook winds and described how Indians ran buffalo off small cliffs. No other explorer ever did so. And so that's why Haig and Cousin want to elevate Fiddler's name among great Canadian explorers. Uh, his journal is just a, an amazing uh, uh, look at what Southern Alberta was like, and it's the first, the first look at the area that we know as Southern Alberta. Even in the book that was published on, uh, as Canada's surveyor, they didn't give his uh, work in the West here, our country. And uh, I think he's been just neglected. The two men have begun organizing a 1992 bicentennial of Fiddler's visit to southern Alberta. Among other projects, they've planned a caravan of recreation vehicles to retrace most of Fiddler's travels. Paul Bezzetta, News First, in the Porcupine Hills.